the year 2011, the world was at peace and all humans were enjoying their days. But one night, a strange man has broken into the Itachi Museum and has stolen a mystical staff. As he ran off with the staff, strange robots came chased him. As this was happening, lights, machines, and even electronics were going crazy. What could be causing all this chaos? Welcome to my Let's Play of Magical Dorpy. Uh, this game is actually uh, in English, or in the US, is known as the Crayon Conquest, but in Japan it's known as the Magical Dorpy, which they both differ differently. Uh, in the Japanese version they have cutscenes and a uh, continue system, while in America they got rid of all that and just only left the game as itself. Um, I'm doing the Japanese version, seeing as there's a fan translated version, so I, that way I can understand the story more. And after uh, playing through the game and understanding the story, I decided to make it my own, um, make my own story into it. So, you know, obviously with the character Honika from the Journey to Silly's Let's Play. So I hope you guys enjoy this Let's Play, and see you guys soon.
Stage one, let's do this. All right, before we continue, I just want to apologize for my terrible narration in um, the, at the beginning of this video. Uh, I actually did that um, a long a couple of days ago, and I was in a and it was during a bad day, so I'm sorry for a very um, poor narration. So, anyways, yeah, this is Magical Door Uh This game has been known for being a kind of a poor man's Mega Man ripoff. Uh, it, Right down to the running animation, um, and the weapon select screen. This is practically like Mega Man. You have your charge shot, and the buster, and health bar, it's everything. Before we continue, let me explain a couple things in this game, so that way, you know, if anybody's playing at home, uh, or want to get into this game, you know what to do. Uh, obviously up there on the, on the top left, uh, corner is the health bar, which is basically like Mega Man's, but except this one has much more less. In Mega Man, if you take damage, you lose two bars of health, or maybe three or four. In this game, you lose at least one or two, which wouldn't be a big deal in Mega Man, but in this one, it's a big deal seeing as you have much less than Mega Man. Um, another thing is that, uh, so, well, actually, there's nothing else. Well, actually, uh, just like health in the, in Mega Man, it's very rare to get it from enemies. Um, un it's, it's not like, uh, I just dropped something. It's not like, um... Uh, the hell, the weapon energy in Mega Man. It's, it doesn't show up constantly. It actually is very rare in this game. Um, it's based, the form it goes in is that it, there's two versions, a small one and a large one. The small one gives you back, uh, one or two, uh, units of health, which is basically little tiny soda cans. Uh, the big version, which looks like soda bottles, like those big, two liter Coke cans, Coke cans, Coke bottles, um, give you, I think, almost full health. Anyways, let's uh, talk about our weapons. We got... Normal! Very creative, guys. Very creative. Thank you. Seriously, you couldn't come up with a better name? Uh, in this game, uh, your normal shot is basically like the mega... 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 Mega bus... Ugh, I fail. Mega Buster, which only has three shots on screen, but can also be charged to shoot a more powerful shot that kills enemies much more quicker. Um... Fire is basically it takes two units of your health, so it's kind of a it's kind of a uh, give and take kind of scenario uh, where it will engulf the whole entire screen in flames. That's what it says, even though it's basically just turning the background on and off and showing a firebird in the middle, um, and it engulfs the whole entire screen in flames and kills every enemy on screen. Uh, freeze is basically like your Mega Buster, except that your charge shot has been changed into a freeze beam, which doesn't hurt the enemy, but does uh, freeze them in place. Ball is basically like the rebound striker in Mega Man 10, you know, the one that you get from Strike Man, which it bounces off walls for a, a short amount of time um, and hit enemies, you know, like this, like how I got that enemy back then. The only problem is that the ball is very useful, but it's also uh, le less powerful than the regular shot. Uh, shield right here allows you to shoot, just like the Mega Buster, but just like Freeze, a shard shot has been changed into a shield, which uh, deflects uh, enemy uh, shots, which I don't find myself using it that much, but maybe somebody else does, I don't know. The broom here is basically the equivalent of rush of the rush jet. Um, what it does is that, depending on which way you shoot, it goes in that direction. So if I shoot left, it goes left. If I shoot right, it goes right. If I shoot up, it goes up. The problem is that it's too big, so it won't fit everywhere. And another thing before we continue is that um, you can also shoot up, and you can duck in this game while shooting. So it's basically like Mega Man Rock's uh, duck shooting thing, but no slide. And you cannot, it's been replaced with an upshot. Up shut, up shot. Uh, you can also use charge shots and shoot them upward also, and also with the other weapons. So anyways, let's continue. Uh, that enemy that we just killed suit right there is basically like the floor, uh, s the floor security bots in Mega Man, in the Mega Man series, except this one you can actually kill with your regular shot. These guys right here that are spring enemies, they're basically, I don't know, maybe those spring guys from Mega Man, uh, 7. You know, it's spring man stage, maybe it's like, like that. Now, the enemy that's coming up here, you want to get your ball out if, if you, well actually no, you want to get your normal shot out and use the up uh, um, shot ability to your advantage. There's two enemy. there's an enemy that's coming up here which, if you played Mega Man 1, I think you might know what he does. I'm not going to show what he does because it's going to be, okay, maybe I am because I missed him. 
Yes, they're basically like those enemies from uh, Mega Man 1 where they were, you know, the ones that are, have little propellers on their heads and they have a big gigantic smile on their face, just smiling the day away, and they just dive right into you and kill your butt. I don't know, I didn't want to say ass. Um, anyways, let's, kill, let's get rid of this guy. Let's continue on. Right here we got our equivalent of uh, Sniper Joe in this game. This, the only difference is that Sniper Joe is cool and this guy is just lame. Why? Because look at him. He sucks. I mean, uh, Sniper Joe has the ability to uh, uh, defend your, himself from your bullets with a shield. Uh, not to mention that he has much more health and he shoots more shots at once than just only one puny shot, which is, moves very slowly and you get easy to dodge. The only thing that he does right is that his shot actually uh, blocks your shot, so uh, if you're shooting while he's shooting a bullet, it's not going to hit him. But besides that, it's not really that hard to kill him. It's pretty simple. I mean, if him, if him and um, the real Sniper Joe had a standoff or even a death battle, they, Sniper Joe would just win in one, in one second. Anyways, right there we have the equivalent of Mets in this game, except these guys are much more uh, easier to deal with. Uh, why? Is because they uh, don't have a, they don't have a middle shot, so they can't shoot in the middle. They can only shoot um, upward and downward. That's when you can use your uh, that's when you can use your ducking ability at, at your advantage, and your shooting while ducking advantage. Um, as you can see here, as soon as you finish finish a stage, a little symbol uh, pops up. It's been removed in the U.S. version, which is known as the Creon Conquest, instead of the uh, Magical Door being in Japan. Um, so, and seeing as Nintendo's kind of strict on their religious uh, symbolism in America, they had to remove it. Not to mention that they also removed the cutscenes from the Japanese version. But to be honest, the story, I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, it just shows that, you know, magic prevails against technology. I mean, I don't know why they got rid of it. I mean, the, the only thing they included from the original game into, into the US version is the intro cutscene. The intro cutscene and in the Japanese version and the American version are exactly the same. The only difference is that there's no more cutscenes and uh, the main character, which is Francesca, or in this game, uh, or this Let's Play, uh, Honoka, or in Japan known as Dorpy, um, looks more like a kid in the American version and and, more, and looks more like a woman in the US version, which I can kind of understand. Okay, they just only give you one unit of energy, which kind of sucks, but eh, I can deal with it. Oh, these guys, I'm going to be very, very angry. I don't want to use my energy, so I'm just going to try to run us like heck. Ah. Really? Thank you. Uh, you really want to try to keep your health as much as you can, because um, in this game, you know, seeing as health is very rare in this game, but not only that, because but also uh, extra lives are also rare too. Like in only, I think only in three stages you can get uh, extra extra lives. And the problem with this game is that after you beat a level, your heart doesn't replenish; it stays with you. So if you only have one unit one unit of health left, and you end the stage and you get to the boss, you're only gonna have one uh, hit of damage left. So you really want to try to save as much energy as you can until you can find a good until um, you can get a health. Um, um, some help from an enemy later in the game. Alright, we got rid- oh god. There we go. Uh, right here you just want to shoot that metal one and start running like heck. Because, uh, the end of the stage is actually right here. You only have to shoot two of them, seeing as they're in your range when you're uh, running. But another thing about that is that, uh, there's this little weird, uh, program that for some reason, the programmers thought it was a good idea, you know, trying to rip off Mega Man, is that uh, when you shoot while jumping, your jump abruptly stops. Like while you're jumping, uh, if you shoot while you're if you shoot while you're jumping, your jump uh, just ends real quickly. Like here's a regular jump, and here it is when you shoot. You, your jump just stops immediately as soon as you uh, shoot your magic. I guess you can say that, but I don't know. Uh, right here, obviously, you can use your free shot to freeze these fires and get across them. You can actually touch them, but when they uh, turn back to normal, you can't. You'll get lots of damage. Um, right here, what you want to do is that you can just put your broom right there, but what you want to do is put it a little bit higher. 
you'll see why soon. That enemy up there was uh, could hit you if you were on the regular, uh, if you were just uh, using it on the regular where you were. Ah, why did I got hit there? Uh, that thing is the thing. It nah. Oh well. I guess. Well, I guess that demonstrates how in this game the death animation is just like in Mega Man. You turn into little tiny dots and float away. Well, that was lucky. I got a good shot there. Alright, let's freeze this again. I don't really worry much on uh, health because, uh, well, extra lives, because if I die too many times or if I, um, if I lose a lot of health, I just basically re, um, restart where I last saved. What I, what I mean is that, um, I, as soon as I be a stage, I, or a world, I guess, seeing as this is basically stage three of stage one. Uh, just getting a little bit higher so I can get that enemy. Um, you, I'm gonna save state between state uh, worlds so that way uh, I don't have to start all over at the beginning when I run out of lives, just like in Journey to Silius. Alright, coming up right here, we have like a Met Dispenser from Mega Man 6 kind of ripoff, which it basically isn't as hard because they have much more or less HP and it's really get, really easy to get past. Those starfish right there, uh, you, you want to avoid them as much as possible. They spawn out of nowhere and can actually damage you, and when they hit you, you get, uh, I think, three or two units of damage. All right, right here is, is an equivalent of if Sniper Joe and uh, the Boomerang Brother from Mega... Why am I failing right now? It's if Sniper Joe and uh, the Boomerang Brother from Super Mario Bros. 3 uh, join their evil forces. I was about to say later that I was I was later about to say they were easy as heck, but obviously I just showed that they are not. I guess I don't know why. I, maybe I just maybe I just suck. Maybe that's why. Oh, I didn't see that help there. Let's keep on going and keep going and I think that's the end of the stage, right? No, it's not. Duh. I don't know the end of the stage. Uh, right here, you want to get rid of those uh, starfish because there, there's actually an extra life up there. Oh, I missed them. This is where you really want to use your uh, upshot to your, to your advantage. There we go. Alright, get your broom out and try to easily get in there. Remember, your broom isn't big enough to hold, uh, to go through places or go through walls like Rush. This game, you actually have to make them, you actually have to make the right sh uh, moment to move in, because if you don't, you're just gonna plummet. See? Right, we got some more enemies, just basic enemies, and I think this is the end of the stage, I guess. Oh, health, 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 health. I want health. There we go. Alright, coming up is the boss. Now, uh, there's something in the boss as soon as you enter the boss room that kind of a lot of people get annoyed by. So I'm taking the liberty of uh, taking it out and putting it in, in when I'm editing this video. So hopefully you guys might uh, appreciate it. This is Thunder Knight. His hit points are 120, which is basically his health, and the rest of the things, except for shots, is not really that important. Uh, his speciality is Thunder Attack, which is basically shooting, uh, I think, five or six shots in a diagonal way uh, at you, wherever you're standing, or wherever he is uh, floating. Uh, his, uh, his main attack is basically transforming himself into a quick man laser and attacking you from everywhere, from the bottom and from the top. The best thing to do is stay in the corner or in the lower area, and if it comes after you uh, down there, get on top and get on the top platform and platform. And uh, after it's gone, get back down, because the laser at the top platform will really get you off guard since it moves much more quickly. Uh, nothing can be said else about this boss except that he's relatively easy when you know uh, when you know what to do. If you follow what I do in uh, later in this boss fight, then it, he, he's pretty much a uh, metal man in this game. Why they want you to have a seizure, I do not know myself. Anyways, this boss is basically if what if Quickman's lasers and uh, Mercury from the Mega Man Battle Network, not Mega Man Battle Network, the Mega Man Game Boy games join their evil forces. You get uh uh I I forgot his name already. I, I it will show up in the in the uh, description for this boss. Anyways, this boss is easy like peanut butter. 
I don't know where I was going with that, but I guess that works too. Uh, basically, you just want to stay on one of these corners. The only the only time you might get his only if, if the shot comes from right in front of you. But really, he's not that tough. You just have to shoot under him and you get him easily. You just gotta you just gotta keep off this platform that I'm standing on, because obviously that beam is gonna hit you. So you just want to stay off this uh, platform as much as you can, except when that thing when uh, you when that thing comes from down there. All right, let's see if we can get rid of this boss with this last shot. Because if you use the ball, it it's much more easier to shoot him from right there. But yeah, it, it remember it has less damage. So yeah, and I won. And the phone is ringing. God, I'll be right back. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode and even though this is the first episode, I would like to give I would like to ask you guys for your opinions on this thing. Tell me if uh, there's a couple things I should edit. I mean, it's going to be a long long time until this uh, LP uh disappears cuz I do have a lot of editing to do to make even one part. So uh thanks for watching guys. Please please leave me in the comments something about the video if I need to edit something out or anything. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. Thanks for watching.